For this exercise, we're going to take what we uh, started with last week and get a little bit more elaborate. So what we're going to try to do is get to something like what you see here, which is um, a curved surface. Uh, controls are built into it so that we can control its height. Uh, we can also control the number of subdivisions in both directions. And then more interestingly, uh, we can map a surface onto it that we can then control in terms of how much uh, sort of three-dimensionality it has um, to start to investigate ideas of um, openings and shading devices and so forth. So the way that we're going to do this is um, let's open up a new Rhino file. We'll go with inches again. Actually, let's do um, let's do let's do large objects in feet. Yeah. And um, we want to start. Let's have a, a new grasshopper window open as well. So the way that I've been setting these up is to um, stretch that over have the grasshopper window on the right side and then this way we can get our four views and see grasshopper at the same time. Um, so let's start off with um, just a simple three-part curve and then we want to radius these so that it's almost a kind of continuous fluid curve. So I'm going to do a fillet uh, radius, I don't know, let's see what happens. I'm going to do 25 feet. In fact, maybe I'll do 40 feet. And then I'll do 50 feet. Yeah, so something like that. Uh, join these together. So this is going to be our starting curve. What we want to do is get this into Grasshopper by introducing a parameter. Curve, and then we'll set that curve. So now that's in the window. That's in that's into Grasshopper, but it also exists in Rhino. Um, and what we want to do is we want to move this curve vertically. We essentially want to copy it vertically to create the height of the facade. So we'll do that with the um, go to the X form menu. And under Euclidean, we can introduce the move command, move uh, component. And it's looking for a geometry and a translation vector. So for geometry, um, we'll feed in the curve. And then for translation vector, we know we want to move it vertically. So what we can do is go to um, the vector menu. And under constants, we can set either X, Y, or Z. So let's choose Z. And then we'll feed that into the target. And you'll notice, which in, if you look on the left side um, of the, the vector constant, um, comes up with, already has one as a preset. So you can see that it moved it up one foot. So here's a place where we'll put in a slider bar and that will give us a chance to control the height. So let's let's keep it on integers for now um, and set the value maximum to say 60. So 60 feet. Feed that in. So now, and you'll notice that when you do a move it copies the original curve. So we've got the original curve and then we've got the moved curve. And both are still active. Um, and then the next step would be to loft between these. We'll do that under the surface menu, freeform loft. And so here it's looking for section curves, multiples. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pull in the original curve. And then here if I pull in um, the moved curve, you'll notice that it 
deletes the original one. So you have to make sure that you, um, when you do it, that you hold down the shift command. And then you'll see this little plus that comes up. And that's going to allow you to feed in a second wire into the same, into the same node. So now we've got this surface that we can then change the height of. And the next set of steps is very similar to what we did before, uh, which is that we want to um, subdivide this using the divide interval, and then setting uh, sliders for the U and V subdivisions. And then here we want to maybe change the maxes. We'll see. Um, this one we may only need about 10, and then this one we'll leave at 60. And then we want to visualize that uh, using the isotrim command or the subsurface command. And then there we'll feed the surface in. Oops, sorry. That goes into um, domain. So divide feeds into domain, and then the surface is the loft. And you'll see that that appears as a series of subdivisions. So that I can control the number of subdivisions on the surface. I can also control the height with this slider. So now I'm going to, um, just to get the, the space ready for the next, um, the next section, uh, I'm just going to go up to options. Let's get rid of the grid. Make the background white. Show the curves and ISO curves. And then switch to a rendered view. Um, and then we'll go into part two in a second.